This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how do I use the transpose line white circle? So here I have just ZBrush loaded up, and I have a sample model loaded in here. And I'm just going to switch over to the move transpose line. Now, when the transpose line is generated, you're going to notice you're going to have a few circles here, and then you're going to have this one white circle on the end. So the first functionality of this white circle is that it's going to center the transpose line to your model. If I draw a transpose line out anywhere on my screen and then simply click this white circle, it's going to center the transpose line in the middle of my model. Now this transpose line centering will also respect masking. So I come through and say mask out this part of my model right here, and then click off to invert it. I'll switch back to that move transpose line and then click the white circle and you're going to see that the transpose line is going to be generated in the center of the unmasked area. It also respects visibility, so if I hold Control and Shift and just select a portion of the mesh here, and then click that white circle, it's going to center into the visible part of the model as well. So that is what the default functionality is for that white circle at the end of the transpose line. Now in addition to this default functionality, the white circle will also allow you to realign your model to the camera plane. So as an example of this, I just have the standard brush selected. And let's say I have this shape and I want to generate a straight line you know, through the middle here. So I can start drawing my stroke out and if I hold shift, it's going to lock it into a straight line. So this will allow me to draw straight lines on my model. Now you can do this by default by just aligning your model so it's directly facing the camera. And then you can just start drawing and hold shift and it will lock it into that camera plane. Now what if you want to draw a straight line between these two circles here? So you can try to hand draw it, which is going to get you pretty close, but it's not going to be as straight as if you had it aligned perfectly to the camera and could use the shift functionality. So you can use the transpose line to reposition your model so that it will change the orientation so that these two points will be directly horizontal across from each other, allowing you to draw a straight line. So I'm going to select the move transpose option again. And I'm just going to draw a transpose line out. So I'm just going to click and drag and hold shift so it locks directly to the camera. And I'm just going to drag it out like so. So now that this is drawn out like this, we're going to hover over the circle again. And I'm simply going to hold control and shift and then click the white circle. And that is going to store the default orientation for the camera. Now I can retraw the transpose line out like this and just position it correctly. So you can just drag these outer circles here reposition on your model, and it's going to snap to the vertices of your model there. So now I have a straight line drawn out with the transpose line here. Now I can hover over this white circle again, and this time I'm just going to hold control, not control and shift, and then simply click, and it's going to realign the model to make that transpose line match the original transpose line orientation that I set. So now that my model is positioned like so, I can switch back to the draw mode here, and draw a line out and hold shift, and it's going to allow me to get a perfectly straight line between those two points. So now I can go back to my default camera angle here, and I now have a straight line between those areas. So that process, once again, is first select the move transpose line, drag it out to an orientation you want it to rotate to, so this is our final orientation here, hold control and shift and click the white circle, then drag out the orientation you want to rotate from, so like this, and then hold control and click the white circle, and your model will be rotated like so. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!